A fickle flick of flame may destroy. In just a blink of an eye, as they face gruesome peril, our brave roboteers who face, thrust, two, grind, and one. flip. Activate. Let the wars begin! Lobster claws! Witch hock spikes! It's punishing! What does it do? Well, the arm goes down and it crushes all the other robots. Welcome to Heat J of Robo Wars! Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the master of mayhem, Craig Charles. Welcome to Robot Wars, the seventh wars. And if you're sitting in the front row, you better watch out. Because a robot fighting tonight once flipped Stinger and the mighty Behemoth clean out of the arena in the same fight. So, do you want to see more from Thermidor? Well, there's flippers more powerful than Thermidor in the competition this year. So it could be Thermidor in trouble as we let the wars begin. Craig, there'll be a whole lot of shaking going on with eight more rock and rolling robots aiming to be number one in the bot parade. Thermidor's flipper, beast's spindly thing. Mobot fawning and mighty mouse squeaking. Thermidor the one to watch. Then, Chronic the Wedgehog we've seen before. I wonder if it'll be improved this time. Pincer is new, Cobra Snake Knight and the Kraken, a black-hearted fiend. From Clifton in Nottinghamshire, Mighty Mouse. Has fought previously in a tag team, never alone. Eek! Here they come to save the day. I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> it's not going to fill a killer punch, but it's fast and it's reasonably reliable. What are your weapons? Predominantly, it's a rammer. The blades at the front are very, very tough. Uh, if you can hit something hard enough, you can usually put holes in it. 23 mile an hour, very fast and manoeuvrable, front ramming blades and rear spinning disc, but only 83 kilos, too light, this could be gone in a squeak, a trice, we don't like mice. From Fakenham in West Sussex, Mobot. Promising newcomers, Mo Mayhem, Mo Carnage, Mobot. What's it made out of? Um, aluminium and steel chassis. Oh, is it strong or it sounds a bit No, no, thin. We're, no we're cannon fodder. Your cannon fodder. Oh, yes, cannon fodder. So you're here to be absolutely bashed uh, to smithereens. Well, yeah, I've got a bucket to take it home in. Ah, good to see they know their place. The weaponry, a rotating arm, 23 inches in diameter, about 20 kilos. The end's travelling about 45 miles an hour. Only uses alloy armour and a petrol engine. <laughs> dear, dear. From Norwich and number 14 seed, Thermidor 2. Seeded number 14, fighting in their fifth wars once a series semi finalist. Now, you are the 14th seed this year. What have you done to modify your role? Um, this year we have had a little kick down piece on the back just to keep the nose down. We hope that's going to make the difference. Is your flipper so powerful that it, it can, the it can lift about a ton. Yeah, we can easily flip them out of the ring. Improved from last year with the active wheelie bar, flipper power improvements, quick at 15 miles an hour, small and strong, but there's a limited CO2 gas supply. From Litchfield in Staffordshire, 8645T, Beast 2. Fought in the fifth wars, knocked out in the second round. Now, what does Beast do? Uh, it's got a front flipper, uh, which combines with a rear axe, uh, which has got a nice nasty spike on it. Um, it's on full ball pressure. Uh, he's well armoured. What's your tactics going to be out there? Uh, run. A modified wedge then with the front and rear weapons, moderate speed, good tyre protection, but it never self writes and that's a beast of a problem to have. Roboteers, stand by. Let's have a look at the teams then. Mighty Mouse coming up on the left there, Trevor Wright and his family. Mobot Matthew Coral is the captain. Onto Thermidor 2, David Harding and Ian Harvey and Beast, John Lear, his son, Little John and James Wood in there. For the house robot, Sergeant Bash is in the arena in dead metal. Three, two, 
one. Activate. Mighty Mouse off to a quick start there, slamming into Thermidor 2. We've seen the power of Thermidor's flipper in previous wars and taking on the Beast straight away. And the Beast self-righted. That has been a problem in the past with the long spindly axe. And the Beast trying to flip Mobot. Can't see the potency of Mobot's weaponry, really. They say the uh, end of the rotating arm has a bit of a slam. You can see it flicking away, but no great danger. Thermidor turning Beast on its side. Beast's technical name, 8645T2. Think of it as a car number plate and it would spell out Beast. Hence our name. Mighty Mouse. A bit simpler to understand. There is the Beast trying to self right. This is what I was talking about beforehand and it's using a lot of pressure there and expending a lot of gas to try and self right. Beast is in trouble. Thermidor 2's claws are open to grapple and grasp Mobot and toss it out. Mobot gone. They were there as cannon fodder, they felt. And that's the way it happened, leaving Mighty Mouse and Thermidor 2 for the moment. Mighty Mouse is upended. Now, was the beast immobilized before Mighty Mouse was slammed? I'm not too sure. Is Mighty Mouse out of this? The beast is being counted down. We have seen the power of the number 14 seeds Thermidor. They know they're through to the second round, and the Beast counted out. John Lear's machine, shame for him, a mechanical craftsman. Mighty Mouse, just about still operational. The wheels were still turning, it's come crunching down. The Beast is gone, we know that another slam from Thermidor, it's righted now but it's far too late, the Repot's already given it the red card. They call themselves the Mad Beasties, the team from Litchfield. And they may be maddened by the fact that the Repot's already done it for them. Dead Metal has a grasp, away from Dead Metal, can get up to 10 miles an hour, Beast. But crumpled at the back, oh, that was closed, oh, what's he doing? Toying with the pit. And away through, so, hey, away through, he went straight onto the floor flipper and we got you in the end. Clever bit of driving. Think you're clever. Ah. Bash, down at K. Time is ticking down. Now the beast is still manoeuvring out. I honestly think it's been... <laughs> Already counted out. Whatever happens, it's gone now. <laughs> oh dear. Oh, go on, Mighty Mouse, get down there too. Well, the house robots having a bit of fun with Beast, but Thermidor and Mighty Mouse, they go through! <laughs> Join me after the break for more Metal Mayhem on Robot Wars. Coming up, our second Heat J battle. Watch for the Wedgehog Spikes, the Cobra Strikes, the Pincers Bite, a Test of Might, and a Kraken's Fright. The seventh wars already through to the Heat J second round number 14 sees Thermidor. Don't crowd me. Uh, get out of my bubble. Get out the road. Welcome back to Robot Wars, where we're gearing up for the second fight of the night. Four new robots, two about to meet their metal maker. From Aylesbury in Buckinghamshire, Pinsa. Newcomers to the UK Championships, fought in our Crusher Carve Up special earlier in the series, though. Luke and Jake, this is Pinsir, I believe. Yes. Now, you two built this robot yourself. Yeah. And what does it do? Well, the arm goes down and it crushes all the other robots. Brilliant. So you're going to crush every other robot in the arena? Yeah. 
a hydraulic crushing arm, obviously, two-wheel drive made from titanium TA10 with 690 watt power problems, a high centre of gravity, low speeds and a high ground clearance. From Taunton in Somerset, Cobra. First time they've qualified, watch for the spitting venom. Look at this. It's a massive spike that comes out. So that literally comes out and spears opponents. Absolutely, yeah. It's high pressure pneumatics on a big round. So, so how, how many rams do you get with that? Probably not enough. <laughs> how many? I won't tell them. Four or five, five Ooh. or six. Uh, so Ooh. you've got to be just right, hit the right places. A titanium box, aluminium wheels with golf shoe studs, mostly enclosed. A limited range of offence, though, an inexperienced team. An R snake charm offence will leave this beat nothing. From Pinner in Middlesex, the Kraken. The team has fought before, but not with this machine. This is one of the most scary robots I have seen today. This is the Kraken. Explain right. yourself, please, Guy. Right, it's basically it's a hydraulic crusher with a twist. The first jaw is pneumatic, which will come down quickly to grab the opponents. The second jaw, hydraulic, will then come in and crush them. Electric power with a single drive motor. It steers through a differential and brake system. Destructive weaponry, all grab and crush. Light armour could be turned to mush. From beer in Devon, Chronic the Wedgehog. Fourth time in the wars, but never beyond the heats. Here he is! Chronic the Wedgehog. Yeah. Now, uh, what does he do? He looks absolutely mighty and scary. It does look good. It's got two flippers, same as last year. Uh, they're a bit more quicker this year. So hopefully we can do some, do some damage. Still has the chronic face and lovely flammable foam spikes. A flaster flipper action then. More offensive, better self-writing, but has a mesh bottom and no wheel guards. Roboteers, stand by. Let's have a look at the teams then. Julian Brown, captain of Cobra on the left. The Davis family pincer on the right. The Kraken boys there on the left, captain by Guy Pickett. Dave Lang, captain Chronic the Wedgehog on the right. There in the arena for the house robots is Mr. Psycho and Sergeant Bash. Three, two, one. And we're off and running with Chronic the Wedgehog using a little bit of experience there. Once, twice on Cobra. What flew off there? Something came off. A little bit of metal flew across the arena floor. Can you see the Cobra spike out? Really causing major problems. <laughs> One of the Chronic little foam spikes has come off. And they're twitching and twittering under the evil glare of Pinter. And already the arena floor is covered with debris. The Kraken looks mean. I wonder about the effectiveness of the weaponry, but look at pincers coming in there. The hydraulic crutching arm through the armament of Chronic the Wedgehog. The Kraken moving across the arena as Pincer takes a grip of Chronic the Wedgehog and batters it into Cobra, which doesn't seem too mobile, and Chronic on the flame pit. And that won't do those exposed tyres any good. And taking a grip on the famous chronic face. Pinsir looks a tidy machine. The Kraken wakes and comes into battle. There at the controls. Guy Pickett, Lloyd Davis, the Kraken team. A little side slam by Chronic the Wedgehog. Cobra has done very, very little to be honest. And seems to me to be stuck on the arena sidewall. I don't know whether or not. The motors ever really got going. You can see the studded wheels trying to get some sort of traction as the Kraken bites in. Disappointment thus far for Julian Brown and Kevin Stowe and the Cobra team. And Pinter has it and is drawing it out into the arena floor with a spike in then on Cobra on the titanium box. Two and a half millimetre thick, fairly strong armour. Concealing the aerial, but they know they're in a, a tight tussle. They just haven't got those wheels moving. Ah, is only one of them moving, I wonder? That may well have been the problem with Cobra, yeah. I think that left-hand wheel, as you look at it, is stuck. Mr. Psycho comes trundling out, sets up a hammer blow. Oh, piggyback time. Crushing time. You really didn't want him to do that, Cobra. And still, Pincer holds on. The ref bot checking. 
Wakey, wakey. You have very little time left. Start moving. Do something. Oh dear. Bye bye. So, Pinter, <laughs> wakey, wakey, you too. Okay, look, you, now you've beaten Cobra, but that thing there, you see the little thing there? It's good, Mr. Psycho. Get out of the way. That's one hammer blow. Mr. Psycho manages to hit himself on the head. Ladies and gentlemen, he's not the brainiest. He's not the brightest. Pinter, neither are you. Get out of the way! What are you? Fools? Or beaten fools? Oh, sorry. It's just drifted off there for a minute. As our pincer, it seems. What's going to happen to them? They are moving, or are they being pushed? Psycho's going to get ya. And I think Pincer, in having beaten Cobra, has beaten itself. And both of them will go out. Julian and Kevin and the Cobra team. And Steve Davis and young Luke and Jake. Luke 9, Steve 6. And they are locked together. And some macabre dance of death under the drop zone. Cease. That was bizarre. Mr. Psycho shows no mercy. Kraken and Chronic the Wedgehog, they go through. Let's just confirm then, Pincer and Cobra went, Chronic the Wedgehog and the Kraken through to round two of Heat J. This is how they'll line up. First Thermidor 2 against the Kraken, Mighty Mouse against Chronic the Wedgehog. Thermidor 2 looks impressive, Craig. Now, at the end of the series, we'll be holding the World Championships, but not all countries have qualifying robots yet. So tonight, fighting for the right to represent their country in the war zone. Bring on two more international robots! From New Zealand, Reptilian. Slimy, sneaky, tricky, low down. We love it. It's got a spinner on the front, so it um, takes chunks out of robots. Got a fairly sharp weapon on the back, so we can spin the whole robot and uh, bash them. Its main weakness, though, if it gets flipped, it's dead. Could be a little bit of a problem. How will the folks back home take it if you get flipped straight away? I might not be able to go home ever. <laughs> a vertical milling wheel with side fixed weapons on a robot which can spin on the spot, low and wide for stability, tough, nimble, destructive, but as he says, no self riding mechanism. From Belgium, hard. Fought in the Dutch robot wars, didn't do really very well. This is hard! That's hard. And is your machine hard? Yeah, it is. Four millimeter, stainless steel. You can't get through to it. Do you think you've got the advantage? Well, he's so large that we believe it will be quite difficult to actually flip him over. He's so large, we don't even know how sure that he fits in the pit. So those two tactics will be less effective, so we'll let him explain how he's going to drive. <laughs> yeah, but he'll, yeah. if he's so large, he's an easy target. Uh, well, yeah, but you can't flip him, that's the problem. The only thing we can try is to open the pit and put in his wheels in the pit so he can move. Or the other thing that we might do is to get underneath him and ram him into the side. I'm frightened by the eyebrows. Hard has that stainless steel armour, the full pressure flipper, but the wheels are exposed. Roboteers, stand by. Let's have a look at the team eyebrow. Get Kajac, Jan Hoyen, Frank Van Riet, the hard boys from Belgium. And from New Zealand, Riptilian, Jeff Graham, Robert Reed, Peter Platt. In the arena for the house robots, Cassius Crow and Growler are boxer dog Three, combination. Two. <laughs> Our thanks to the teams for coming such a long way to try and qualify for the World Championships. Reptilian is a very, very large robot, 120 centimetres in diameter. Hard in underneath, Reptilian though, trying to expose that one centimetre ground clearance. 
And hard on top. The little milling wheel on the side of Reptilian doesn't look very effective. Hard Flipper does. But can they thrust them out of the arena? This for a place in the World Championships. We've already got Supernova through from Sri Lanka. Spartacus from the USA. Crustacean from South Africa. There we're seeing the Belgian team side by side with Reptilian. And should this go all the way to a judge's decision, I think Hard are the uh, more stylish team, more controlled. They may have caused a little bit more damage there, even though superficial it may be to Reptilian. Cassius Chrome goes in with a little left-right jab combination. Hard working in on the inside to use a boxing term. And Reptilian can't quite get to grips with this at all. And Growler may well get to grips with his jaw and does. And steals Reptilian away. They are concerned, and rightfully so. And the ref bot is about to count down the key, we hope. They could have done with a Maori chant or two out there. The hacker dance used by the rugby union players. They lacked a formidable nature and reptilian beaten. Hard of Belgium through to the World Championship. And now Growler can come and destroy. Takes the grip. Pulls. Steadily. Flip, flip, flip is the cry. Tell you what, it's some heavy machine out there. The floor flipper only tossed it four or five feet. Cease is called. We know the heart of the victors anyway. Well, Reptilian, they go out hard. They're through to the World Championships. It's a long way to come for a good kick in, isn't it? It is. What went wrong? Uh, it looks like the chains came off the motors. We so just lost power. And you were just a sitting duck then? We were, it was disgraceful. All right, guys, ladies and gentlemen, please, let's hear it for Reptilian! <laughs> What's Belgian like for robots? Uh, a bit small. Much, yeah. We don't have it on TV. No. So, so no one goes out building them then? Not well, we have uh, only about uh, three or four teams really in the competition. Yeah. We go to the north to do the competition with a large team. Yeah. Um, how do you think your robot performed there? Uh, quite well, better than uh, the, the other fights, but okay. We did what we wanted to do, and then we decided to let the growler go ahead. And let's see, let that's the house enough. robots take over. Yeah. Well, you're through to the World Championships. Ladies and gentlemen, let's hear it for Hard! <laughs> Join me after the break when we get down, dirty, destructive and devastating in the Seventh Wars. Don't go away. And so do the second round clashes. It looks tough for Kraken against Thermidor 2. And then we'll play Hog and Mouse to see who's got the arena now. Welcome back to the Heat J second round fights. We've already seen Chronic the Wedgehog go through with Kraken. The number 14 sees Thermidor look fantastic. Mighty Mouse, Elastic, and my money still on the seats. Welcome back to Robot Wars. Round one down, four robots put down. A fate almost as scary as fighting one-on-one. -on -one. Craig, let's reconfirm the draw. Mighty Mouse will meet Quan at the Wedgehog in a moment. But first up, Thermidor 2 and the Kraken and James with them in the pits. This is the second round. Tensions are mountain. I've got the Kraken on one side, I've got Thermidor on the other side. I'll speak to you lads first. How are you feeling? Uh, not too bad. Is it going to be a close battle, do you think? Uh, it could be, but I hope not. You want to take them out straight yeah, away? Yeah, if we can, that'll be better. How are you feeling then? Uh, a little bit more confident than Dave. I, I think we can, we can have them. I think we'll go for trying to get him out of the arena. 
All right, Thermidor so boys, did you hear that? The crack Bits and pieces of it, yes. Bits yeah. and pieces of it. They said the first top of the um, bout is the most important. Would you agree with that? I think so, yeah. I mean, we want to avoid that flipper and trying to get them from the rear because that's where they seem to be the weakest and at all costs just stay away from the front. Would you be really pleased if you took the seat out? Oh, yeah. I mean, it's an achievement, isn't it? I mean, because if they get under us, we're going to take off, you know, with that flipper. So whatever we do today is a bonus. Well, boys, you're about to go out and do battle. May the best robot win, lads. Thermidor 2. That's the pincers and the formidable flipper for David Harding and Ian Harvey. The Kraken. The pneumatic jaw to grab the hydraulic jaw to crush Guy Pickett and Lloyd Davis. Roboteers, stand by. In the arena for the house robots, we have Cassius Chrome. We have Mr. Psycho. Three, two, one, activate. And we have an intriguing second round battle. And Thermidor 2 will want to get it over and done with early because of their limited CO2 gas supply. Oh, they flipped the Kraken straight away. Over they went. Question now, can the Kraken use... The jaws to self right. Thermidor 2 pushing them towards the CPZ, which means, of course, the house robots come in. And another flip, and I think one of the Kraken's beaks, the jaws, is bent. It is, look. Oh dear, it is bent, which means that won't be able to work anymore. Slammed onto the arena floor, but the original, the very first flip of this contest, left that beak bent. No wonder they're amused. David Harding and Ian Harvey. And the Kraken stunned. Basically, its weaponry has been made redundant. So it tries a push on Thermidor 2. Thermidor 2 equal to it, and again, bashing. You can see there quite clearly the, the, the beaks that he used to come down and crush like jaws are bent over each other. And that is a devastating blow for the Kraken. They can draw maybe Thermidor 2 to a flame pit, to the clutches of the house robot. Thermidor 2 is surely too wily for that, having said that they nearly went in underneath Mr. Psycho. And another flip. They knock Stinger and Behemoth out of the ring in the same battle as Craig was saying in Extreme. And again, they launch themselves at the Kraken, which is in real trouble now, as you can see from the ref cam. Again, they're tossed over. 100 kilos of robot self rights but look how effortlessly Thermidor 2 cruises in and lifts them up with a CO2 powered flipper. Impressive so far, the number 14 seat. Mr. Psycho getting out of the way. Difficult to know what the Kraken can do here, once more flipped on its side. One wheel spinning, the other stopped. Thermidor 2 has the battle surely won? And it'll be over now. Oh, well, almost. It tried for the big expansive thrust down the pit and it didn't quite come off for them. They bounced away and steered out of danger, the Kraken. So, battle still on. And we know in Robot Wars, even though it looks as if the Kraken are going out, plenty more may still happen. There have been major upsets even at this stage of a contest. Terminal 2 could drive itself down a pit. Could end up at the mercy of the house robots. But looks in steady control. The Kraken upended, self rights. But it's looking for mercy and it's not going to get any in there, I can tell you. Oh, look at the beak now. It's folded back over the other jaw completely. Looked spindly, didn't it? Once he got into the fight, and Thermidor 2, far too strong. Improved from the last wars. They needed to improve, and they could be worthy contenders for the title. The Kraken just away from peril. Mr. Psycho has to stay in there. The Kraken came forward and tumbled. Thermidor 2 will push towards the pit this time. Surely they won't get away. Oh, he's teasing us. The Thermidor is teasing us. Oh, a little nudge. Comes around to the side. Go on, finish it off. Down 
goes the Kraken Six. and out. And Thermidor 2 through to the heat final. Well, well, well. Kraken takes a right good smacking. The lobster rocks Thermidor through to the heat final. Took a right good smacking. It did, it did, but it took a bit of time to get us in the pit. How do you think it went for you? How do you think you could win? I mean, it's the 14th seed, so tough draw. Your new boys on the block. We are. I mean, we know we need more power because what's happening, we're not getting them far enough underneath our nose to get mm. the hydraulic in. How it's long possible. has it been take, has it taken to get the robot together? Two years. <laughs> Two years? Do you mean you've been intending to enter this competition for a while, but it's just not uh, been ready? Intended for Series 6, yeah. um, now for Series 7. <laughs> so, coming in, into it new, I think you've done amazingly well. There's no disgrace going out to a seeded robot. Let's hear it for Kraken! <laughs> It certainly is working, yeah, yeah. Um, they're quite a heavy robot. We, we, God, we tried to get them out of the ring quite a few times. They, they, just, they just weren't going, were they? <laughs> how, many, how many flips have you got on that before it runs I, out? It's, it's only around about 15. It must have been almost out. We couldn't have had a lot left in there. Yeah, 15 is not that good compared to some of the flippers can do 40. We, we use so much gas each flip, so yeah. that's why it's so powerful. So it's a trade-off, really. So you have to hold back. We have to, we, yeah. And yeah, make sure you're accurate. Yeah, they just wouldn't die, would they? They certainly <laughs> wouldn't. Um, Confident? Um, well, we're, we're pleased we got this far, so, yeah, based on that, we're, we're reasonably confident. OK, Thermidor say, come and have a go. <laughs> if you think you're hard enough, let's hear it, Thermidor 2! Thermidor 2 predictably through to the Heat J final, and there they will meet either Mighty Mouse or Chronic the Wedgehog. Did you take much damage in round one? Uh, we a little bit of damage on the flipper here. We had slightly bends here, we had straighten out, and slight curve in the dish here, but generally not too bad at all. Yeah, not too bad. You are fighting Mighty Mouse, so yeah. it's a mouse versus a Wedgehog. Oh, yeah. great. See what we've done there? Yes, oh yes. <laughs> Good luck, Thank lads. Make the you. best bot win. Thank you. I'm Thank going you. to go and check out the mouse now, see how much damage is done. Yes, yeah. dogs are not in a trap. <laughs> <laughs> A little bird told me that your machine earlier was smoking. Yes, uh, we burnt a motor out in the first fight. Um, we didn't realise what it was, I thought the battery had gone down. So we changed everything, put a new battery in, started it up, and then the motor decided to smoke because it's a charge, fully charged with battery. So we've had to completely gut it, put a new motor in it and rebuild it. That sounds like a lot of work to me. It is quite an aggressive mouse, isn't it? Yeah, well, it's fast, you see, so you basically just aim for it. And have, and, How uh, fast is it? What's the power it has? Um, the motors, there's two 800-watt Litton motors um, running on 36 volts. So it works out about three horsepower. Are we going to see some uh, blood on the arena floor? Well, yeah, hopefully it's not ours, but uh, <laughs> you just don't know what's going to happen out there. Mighty Mouse. By far the quicker here, but by far the lighter machine. Trevor Wright and their daughter Emily. Chronic the Wedgehog. As that flipper for Dave and John Lang and Mike Gardner. Roboteers, stand by. In the arena for the house robots, Growler the Prowler. Mr. Psycho. Three, two, one. Whether or not Chronic the Wedgehog can get a flip in early here. <laughs> Look at all the foam spikes across the arena floor. What were they stuck on with? Good dodge by Mighty Mouse. And they get oh, thrust into the arena wall. Overturned. Oh, slam! Run away to safety. Look at this. In underneath. Ooh! That hurt. Mighty Mouse has gone away. To safety again. Trevor and Emily up there. 15-year-old Matthew, part of the team, but not in the control pod at the moment. Mighty Mouse scuttling away, pursued by the Wedgehog. Good turning again by Mighty Mouse. He's ducking and diving, isn't he? He's trying to find a bolt hole. Can't at the moment. Oh! 
Browner nearly came out. Yes, you can well and truly say the pit release has been activated. Mighty Mouse, this is a, a mighty performance in terms of driving skill. They're dodging everything out there. Chronic can't catch them. And Mighty Mouse has had the front to have a little stab at Chronic. And Chronic's in trouble here. Oh no, surely not after totally dominating. They're in the CPZ. Growler's off after them. Emily looks hopeful. Chronic looks wedge. Growler's behind them. They're, oh, they're between a rock and a hard place there. Their flipper is stuck open on the arena side wall. And they are wedged in there. Well, this looked such a simple win for Chronic the Wedgehog. The power's gone. Mighty Mouse were running everywhere to get away from Chronic. Chronic the Wedgehog is being counted out. They've gone. A Mighty Mouse, a plucky little winner through to the heat final. What happened there? We'll have to have a post-mortem with the Chronic the Wedgehog team. If there's anything left that is to study. Oh dear. Get out of the way, quick. Oh, oh dear, oh dear, Mr. Psycho. Yeah, it's blue. Big triangular thing wedged in front of you. That's it. Well done. Well done. Another one. Try again. Crumple it. Good. Well done, Mr. Psycho. Use those tracks. Cease. Chronic beaten and tormented by the house robot. <laughs> Defiant to the end. Oh dear. He heard me. Bits of Chronic the Wedgehog all over the war zone floor. Mighty Mouse, they're through to the heat final. did not go to plan. Not as the plan I wanted it to, no. <laughs> what went wrong? Um, I think our speed controllers died. One really? of the motors doesn't seem to be going round. It's we're going in circles. Mm -hmm. The flipper still works, but... Started out OK. You nearly got him out of the arena. Yeah, we were close. So that's what the plan was in the first place. Yeah. But he's damn fast. Yeah. There's no way of catching him. It is like cat and mouse. It really is. Yeah. Yeah. You've never really gone that far. No, the furthest we've got is this round. We've got yeah, you went out the heat one. final before, didn't you? Yeah, yeah. Um, so, where now then? This one next. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's a lovely little model, isn't it? But it, 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 doesn't, it doesn't go. No. No. A bit like, like your robot. robot. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> lovely model. Yeah. Guys, it's lovely having you here. Hope you come back. No Build something better. OK, no problem. Right. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Team Chronic! <laughs> right about one thing, you're really fast. You are quick, yeah. Were you trying to get them into the CPZ so that the, um, the house robots could join in? It looked like you were just trying to entice them there all the time. No, 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 when you're out there, all you're doing is uh, keep them out of the way, you know. It's, it, you sit there on the side and you think tactics, we'll do this, we'll do that. When you get out there, it's just uh, uh, forwards, reverse, get out of the way quick. Yeah. OK, I can't wait to this fight with Thermidor, though. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, let's hear it for Mighty Mouse! Join me after the break for the Battle of the Beasts. Thermidor versus Mighty Mouse, only on Robot Wars. So, coming up, the beast from the deep against the rodent from the mouse hole. Will it be rough and tumble or a game of kiss chase? A three-point turn or two, certainly an emergency stop for one. Final, Thermidor, seated number 14, flipping, turning and toppling Kraken to go through to meet Mighty Mouse. How on earth did this machine manage to beat Chronic the Wedgehog? Welcome back to Robot Wars. It's been an incredible night to be around the war zone and the best is yet to come. Just two robots left. They are preparing for tonight's final. And it is a real David against Goliath clash, Craig. 
Thermidor the Siege against the underdogs, Mighty Mouse. You've got yourself and Mighty Mouse through. How are you feeling? It's the first time I've been to the heat final, so I'm in unknown territory here. What are going to be your tactics against Thermidor? It's a good machine there. Fast. Just keep moving, try and keep out of the way of the flipper and try and hit him from behind, I think. You are the favourite to win this final, but he has been very lucky, Mighty Mouse. He's a quick little robot. He can nip about. Whether we can catch him remains to be seen. Two robots, but only one can go through to the series semi-finals. It's all or nothing at all. This is the Heat Final! Mighty Mouse. Out they come then, this little machine with the big heart, only 83 kilos, Trevor Wright and uh, Emily there. Thermidor 2. With the mighty flipper, David Harding and Ian Harvey in the control booth. Roboteers, stand by. In the arena for the house robots, a killer lot. First time we've seen him in this heat. Cassius Crone back again. Three, two, one, activate. Mighty Mouse's tactics, hit and run away, hit and run away. Thermidor tries a flip, nearly overturned actually. That's okay, he'll be able to self-right very easily, bashes Mighty Mouse. Mighty Mouse, we've seen very little evidence of the spinning disc on the rear of the mouse. Not too sure whether it's working actually. Thermidor 2, dancing away. Emily and Trevor in the control booth. Ooh, watch as Mighty Mouse. Again, a little bit skinny as it came out of the tussle with Thermidor 2. <laughs> it is catch me as you can, isn't it? Mouse trap. Caught. Bounces. Away. Flipped. Bounces. Away. Straight onto the flipper of Thermidor 2. Some courage, this. Tiny little wheels. Exposed wheels. Dodging in behind the ref bot. <laughs> you can't play hide and seek in the war zone. So, boom. Let's play peekaboo. Oh, run away. Here I am. I've gone. Over here. Ah. Can't run away forever. In between Sir Killalot and the ref bot. Oh, this is taunting Sir Killalot. He'll get you if you stay in there. No, he won't. This is brilliant stuff. Absolutely no offensive intention whatsoever. And eventually, they've been caught by Killalot. After dodging just about everything we could throw at the Mighty Mouse. And Trevor Wright now caught in the clutches right underneath a Killalot and squeezed against the angle grinder. Somewhere in there is a mouse. There it is. I saw a mouse. Where? There without a prayer. Oh, I don't know. Bouncing away. See, the longer it goes on, they'll hope that Thermidor 2's CO2 runs out. Into the claws of the favourites, the seeds on its side. It's a great little mouse, isn't it? With the Mickey Mouse ears. Down it comes. Right and away. Such determination and such durability. Refbot has a check. That way lies Killalot. This way lies Thermidor 2. So we're back out of trouble. And they're in underneath. Momentarily, they were underneath the wedge of Thermidor 2. Underneath the flipper. They couldn't make it count. If this goes to the judges, can you imagine the mark for aggression for Mighty Mouse? Can, can we do minuses? I'm, I'm not too sure. Now, where... What are they doing? Where are they going now? Backwards and forwards, shuttling. It's, it's just, it is a game of dodgems. Trevor, I think, has lost his left and right controls, to be honest. That's why they can't get out from there. Yeah, it's just backwards and forwards movement. That's it. That's why they're still technically mobile. He's desperately trying at the controls there to get them out. Oh... We have caught a little mouse in our trap. And I hope it doesn't get squished. It has been a valiant finalist. It is a beaten finalist. 
Emily smiles. She loves her singing, she loves her dancing. Not a lot to sing about there, though. Well done, the mouse. Away again. And Thurman or two looks mean. I hope it goes to the judges, technically. I hope they last four seconds, three seconds, two seconds. Come on, go to the judges. Make them work. I think we know the decision, don't we? We all do, surely. Well, they were both still mobile. We're going to have to go to the judges. They'll be looking at the usual criteria while they're making up their minds. I think we all know who's going to win. Let's see the highlights. And let's count the marks. Mighty Mouse for Star Control, Damage and Aggression. And nil. And, uh, Nil. And I'll tell you what, a million, a million marks for effort. Well done to them. Well, the judges have made their decision, and you all know the criteria by now. It's fairly obvious. They've gone for Thermidor too! You can run, but you can't hide in the war zone, though. Not with those big ones. You were trying to. You are trying to hide behind the referee half the time as well. <laughs> just, so the steering went quite hot, about halfway through. Yeah, because it seemed like you could only go on a straight line. And you yeah, just go forwards and backwards. Like if you bounce off things, you can normally straighten it up. So. You took quite a bit of a... A mauling, really, from the house robots and these guys. Well, they couldn't get you out of the arena. No, I was dreading that. I thought, as long as I don't go out of the arena, I don't yeah. mind. Well, you've done really well. You're a great team. Let's hear it for the Mighty Mouse! And <laughs> um, where does Thermidor go from here? I don't know. We'll, we'll have to see. We'll have to see what finally finishes us off if we don't go all the way, that is. Um, I mean, it's evolved each year. Each year we just do little bits to it and it makes it a little bit better. Yeah. So, series semi finals. Good. What yeah. kind of robots do you want to avoid? I mean, have you seen the new ones? What do you think of them? Oh, they're, they're pretty good, aren't they? We're worried. Good luck Thank in you. the series semi finals. You're a great robot. Go hell forever for Thermidor! Thermidors in the series semi-finals of Robot Wars. Bye-bye. Coming next time, will the seeded bulldog breed get carried away? Why are they all in a tiz? Who will spin to win? And who's the ugliest of them all? How pointless can celebrities be? Find out next on Challenge. Over on pick, it's pointless, dangerous driving in Road Wars.